Hi, this is Mrs. Francis, and today we are going to examine the Mona Lisa, a classic Renaissance painting that embodies many of the Renaissance uh, artistic characteristics. But it's not only just that, it is a painting that is arguably one of the most famous uh, and most recognized in the world. Now, the Mona Lisa was painted in the early 1500s by Leonardo da Vinci in the period of what we call the High Renaissance. And by this time, the Renaissance was in full swing, and a lot of these Renaissance ideals were being embodied in the painting, and we're going to examine that today. Now, some of the Renaissance uh, characteristics that we can see is this use of mathematical uh, geometric input into the painting. Now, upon careful examination, you can notice that there is a triangular figure here with the Mona Lisa, and it is highlighted with shading. The use of light was also very big with Renaissance art. You can see that her face and her chest shines, but her hair is kind of uh, faded dark. Now, Leonardo da Vinci also used a technique called Samato. And this is blending in of colors that it goes from one color to the next without any defined boundaries. And you can see that with the face as it goes from light to dark as well. Another characteristic that is employed here is this use of perspective. We can see items that are supposed to appear far away, look far away in the painting. And this is a dramatic difference from that, from the medieval art where everything was very flat and there was no use of perspective. And things that appeared or were supposed to be far away actually appeared in the same depth as those that were supposed to be appearing close. And so a very flat paintings. And with the Renaissance, we see a dramatic change in that as well. Also part of the Renaissance is that it was a very secular movement. And it's not that just there was no religious at religion at all embodied in society and in culture. But actually, there was this growing trend that objects that were not necessarily considered to be religious could be a subject to painting. And obviously, the Mona Lisa here is not a religious figure. She, you know, there has been some discussion of who she is. And most people would agree that she's a wife of a Florentine uh, nobleman. And uh, here she is hundreds of years later, still mystifying us with her painting. So in addition to the use of perspective, Samato, uh, shading, I want to draw attention to the background. As you will notice that the background uh, is an aerial view and both sides of the background actually don't really match. You can see the horizon over to the right is higher than the horizon to the left. And it's been argued that this indifference and this imbalance in the background actually pulls your eyes um, to, you know, make you focus in on the Mona Lisa. And that you're kind of just looking at her face, but in the background, there's that imbalance that kind of draws your attention to focus in on her more intensely. Now, Renaissance painters were also very good with detail. And as you could see, the cuffs of uh, her arm over here, they're very intricately painted. And this is an oil on wood painting. And also you can see the lace on the gown and as well. And she has her arm rested on the armrest with the other arm draping gracefully on that arm as well. And just sitting here appearing to look at the viewer. And if you look at her eyes and not focusing on the background, you kind of get this expression uh, from her. Is she smiling at you? Is she looking at you? But it's that jarring effect of the background that kind of really draws that attention to the face. 
that's it for today with the Mona Lisa. And I hope you enjoyed um, this little talk about uh, this classic Renaissance art. Thank you very much.